Ford is cutting 8,000 jobs, guys. You're fired. It was just announced. And how is this affecting home buyers? Well, I got DMs, emails from my subscribers telling me exactly what's going on. My name is Orlando and welcome to the channel, guys. This is some information that you guys need to understand. And why is this so important? It's because I've said this previously in my videos just as early as my last video. <laughs> I said this exact thing was going to happen. If you remember that video, I was talking about, you know what, let's just go back to the footage. Rewind time. If recession happens, what are companies going to do? What is the number one thing that a company will do to cut costs? It's going to be payroll first, and then they're gonna say, hey guys, Hey, if you still want a job, you know that big building that we paid billions of dollars for, that campus and all that other stuff? We want you guys to come on back because we need to save costs. We need to use this building that we paid for. I mean, I said it, right? Exactly what I said happened, and it's unfortunate. It is really unfortunate, but that's the reason why I tell anybody who's watching my videos, you have to pay attention to what's going on, especially if you work for these companies. So let's jump right into it. It says Ford is preparing to cut up to 8,000 jobs in the coming weeks in a bid to reduce costs and intensify its focus on electric vehicles. The cuts are expected in Ford's salary workforce as well as Ford's blue unit created in March to run the company's internal combustion engine operations. The cuts whose details have not been finalized could change and may be made in phases and likely to begin this summer. Hmm. What is happening this summer, guys, that could affect you if you are about to lose your job? Huh? Maybe buying the biggest purchase of your life? Maybe you just bought the biggest purchase of your life. And now you get the news that you're gonna be fired. You're gonna be laid off. I beg your pardon? 8,000 people are gonna be laid off and you're one of those individuals. Well, that's exactly what happened with a bunch of my subscribers. Let's take a look here. One of my subscribers said this, Orlando, I am one of your subscribers. I just purchased my first home in March and now I'm being told I'm getting laid off from my job at Ford. What do I do? I can't afford my house without a job. Now remember in my past videos, I was telling everyone to make sure before you jump into this housing market and you buy a home, you have to look at other things other than can you afford it with you knowing a recession is down the line is coming up you have to understand that these companies will let go of you with no problem you're fired the number one thing a company will do to cut costs is trim down your employees and that's the easiest way to pull money back into the company so i was telling individuals make sure that you have to look at your job to make sure that your job is secure make sure that you will have a job if you're gonna overpay which you should not at on this channel what do we say do not overpay and if you overpaid for a home you better make sure that you have job security with a recession coming up do you have job security is your job threatened by ai's is your job threatened by some other type of change or fad that's happening in the world if it is you probably need to take a step back take a look at your situation and go hmm should i be doing this am i going to put myself in a situation where my property can be put in to foreclosure. Now to the answer to this DM that I received from my subscriber, the number one thing I would say is obviously try to find another job to replace that. But other than that, you have to bring income in to pay the mortgage. So the only thing you can do is find another job to replace the job that you are about to lose or that you have lost already. That would be my advice. Go out there. There are, you know, quote unquote, a bunch of jobs. I don't know your current situation. I don't know what your background is. I don't know what your skills are, but I would say get back on the job hunt and find another job to replace that. Maybe in the situation they gave you a heads up before you were let go. And if that's the case, use all this time right now to push hard to get another job 
to replace that income. But this is the reason why, guys, you should be watching my videos. The 82% of you guys who have not subscribed but are watching this channel, why haven't you subscribed? Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow, and this information is golden. But let's look at some other things that would have told you guys that Ford was going to fire a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Four spokesmen said that the company does not comment on speculation, but it is scheduled a conference call on to update investors on its plan to achieve its annual EV production of 600,000 vehicles by 2023. So basically what Ford is saying is that they are really cutting jobs to get into electric vehicles, right? Electric vehicles is what some is a big grand plan of Ford. They see it as the future. And to do this, to get the money that they need for to make production and to make these electric vehicles, they are going to have to cut jobs. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. You're thinking like, wow, Orlando, this is a coincidence that it's happening right at this moment. <laughs> and you would be correct. <laughs> but let's see if the data correlates to the reason why they're cutting 8,000 jobs. So let's take a look at Ford's stock price. So we all know that stock price normally correlates to companies getting rid of employees. If a stock is losing a lot of money, meaning the company's valuation is going down, then the company needs to do something to trim costs, okay? So let's take a look at Ford here. <gasps> What do you know? <laughs> I am shocked. <laughs> Ford stock price is tanking. Oh, man. It is at $12.93 right now, guys. It is down almost 41% from year to date. Well, guys, do you think that would give you an indication that a company is going to start cutting jobs? <laughs> Now, you can't just say a stock price is going down and they're gonna start cutting. But what I will say is a stock price going down when we're leading to a recession <laughs> is probably an indicator that companies will start laying people off. And Ford is no different, guys. Yes, Ford is trying to say, you know, in the news cycle that they need to cut these jobs for the electric vehicles. But I can promise you, if you are getting laid off, you don't give a crap <laughs> about an electric vehicle when they're laying you off and you've worked there for 20 something years or 15 or 10 years. You can care less about that. But this is the reason why it's so, so, so important, guys, that when it comes to personal purchasing a home and we coming into this recession that you have to do a double take on your situation. Is your job steady, guys? Literally think about that right now. Do you have a stable income, meaning is your job secure? And not only is your job secure, but do you have a secure job and are you willing to pay overpriced? In this situation where I just showed you where one of my subscribers is looking at possibly going into a foreclosure, possibly losing their home because they are losing their job with Ford. The only thing you hope in that situation is that this individual or anyone who's watching this channel right now, that you're not in a situation where you over paid for a home. If you overpaid for this home and you're in a situation where you will lose your job, now what? Now what? Now you're over upside down when a recession hits and you cannot pay the mortgage. What is the number one thing that you're most likely to do? You're most likely to give the home back to the bank. You're most likely to take the home and go into a foreclosure. <laughs> I believe when a recession comes, you will be able to go on to Zillow and you will see a bunch of foreclosures because individuals overpaid for homes and they didn't look at their job security and they were laid off by their jobs. I'm telling you guys, these companies aren't loyal. <laughs> They are not loyal. They will drop you at a blink of an eye. Excellent. To save money. So you have to look and protect yourself and do your own research. Go back before you buy a home. Take a look and see if there's any news cycles where uh, your company has said, oh, we're trying to trim or this and this. Look at their stock price and then see if it's going down. If you see it's going, taking a massive dump 
and your CEO said, you know, months ago that he's looking to cut jobs, uh, your job may not be secure. Let's take a look at a video of when the news broke and what did Ford say? More job cuts, this time at Ford, 8,000 job cuts to help fund investments in, in the, the electric vehicle weeks. department. This is a shift. Almost this is immediate, ongoing guys. From combustion engine to electric vehicle. The eliminations, they say, will come in the newly created Ford Blue unit, which is responsible for producing internal combustion engine engine vehicles as well as other salaried operations throughout the company according to some people look at that stock price we turn our attention to one of the men behind this scoop Bloomberg auto reporter Keith Norton so talk us now if you guys like just take a look at this stock price it's going up down and then you can see there is a an increase in their stock price on the news that they're cutting 8,000 jobs now a lot of you guys may think to yourself that's bad news Orlando why is it that prices are going up because in the world of business in stocks that is not bad news because that means that the company will have more money on their balance sheets if you're not paying 8,000 employees that means that you have more money to operate the business in this situation to put into electric vehicles so that's why the stock price has went up because yes like I've said in this video like I've said in other videos the number one thing that a company will do to cut costs the number one I'm talking about about won't even think a second about what to do next is cut jobs. It's the fastest and easiest way to grab money to do what you need to do for the company. Through it, was this always going to be Jim Farley's plan or is this a bit of a change attack? You know, Jim Farley said back in March that he wants to cut $3 billion from the company. He said, we have too many people. In March. And he needs the internal combustion engine vehicles, the traditional traditional gas burners, to be more profitable to help fund the $50 billion that Ford intends to spend on electric vehicles through 2026. So back in March, the company, Ford, said, we need to cut $30 billion, that they have too many people. So we had sides all the way back in March. Now, it wasn't the headline that you see now that says 8,000 jobs are being cut. There was no cut clear, we are going to cut it. It's just talks back then. But this is the reason why it's so, so important for you. If you were working at Ford, you should have heard rumblings of this and thought to yourself, should I buy an overpriced home right now in March? Should I buy that? Knowing that there is a likelihood that my company is trying to cut jobs. That they say that they might. Might. <laughs> No, no, you should have. I'm telling individuals that you should have waited. In my opinion, you should have waited. You should have said, you know what? This is not affordable right now. I'm not going to overpay on a house. I'm not going to overpay on the house and then be put in a situation to lose my job. So you have an overpriced home and now you have to pay for that overpriced home, but you can't pay for it because you got laid off. I want you to take this information that I'm giving Giving you go out there do your research and figure out what's best for you and your family i hope you got value out of this content i'm gonna need you to watch this next video here it will help you understand what's going on in this crazy housing market also get into your first rental property also check in the description below i do have some useful links there for a free credit report and whatnot also our membership program i will see you guys in the next one thanks